Oh, hello everybody out there in YouTube land, Facebook land, never never land in the land of a rubber band. That is cheap. I'm uh, trying to work on this, uh, this special uh, key nuts for my, uh, my mini table, for my cross slide table. But uh, I can tell you straight up, even though know I'm using cobalt and I'm using oil, this is an easy. Uh, this is not easy uh, iron to machine. It machines, but it doesn't machine easy. You hear the chatter? And if you look really well right here, see that? That's a chip. When I was coming off of the, the piece, the chip right there, and I was I was running wet like this with the uh, oil, and uh, the big steel chip. It's really. Really hard to machine this this saw uh, this one type of iron for some reason. I'm sure that I'll have a lot easier time drilling it and tapping it, but I can guarantee you it's not going to be easy milling. I'm having a I'm having a pretty rough time with this. Uh, whether I'm uh, conventional or climb milling, you know, I'm taking re I'm taking real small, really small cuts with this. W way under uh, uh, way under four uh, four hundred thousandths of an inch and uh yeah it's it's rough I'm take like I said I'm taking way under four thousandths way under four thousandths of an inch on these cuts and I'm having a rough time it's just uh not easy and uh all it is is i just gotta keep doing i just gotta keep my my, my cuts light and uh i gotta watch my uh, uh watch my milling it would be better not to climb but to uh, conventional mill this. Uh, climb milling, I might get a good uh, finish, but if I'm uh, you know, climbing and it just so happens the low is at this edge, as soon as I come off of the, the piece, I can tear off a, a chip. I can chip this thing real, real easy. I'm finding that uh, by experience with this type of iron. I just so happen to have this iron in my uh, uh, in my my scrap. Uh, it used to be uh, a part of a table where I, uh, that I would clamp pieces down to. It was a little shelf that was built off of uh, off of my big jig, my big uh, gate, uh, gate welding jig. And yeah, uh, I know I shouldn't be climbing, but I, I'm climbing because uh, I already made this conventional cut. 
and I just want it a nice, nice finish. But yeah, my, my climbing, I gotta really watch my climbing. See, when I come off the piece, uh, I can, uh, like right now, I, I made a, I notched into the, the piece. And now I'm climbing, coming back out. Although, it looks nice. It's not. I can, I can always run into trouble at the end. At the end of this cut. And there's stuff I'm finding out the hard way. I know with bigger machines in prison and uh, this do it yourself right here. I'm really running into some challenges. I cannot call it problems, I can just say it's challenges. Because uh, I'm not going to just. Here, coming off. You hear that? You hear that? This is where you get a, a better cut. Not a pretty cut, but you get a better cut when you're not climbing, when you conventional building. And that's when I was headed inward. But coming outward, it sounds smoother. But that's climbing. We all do that. Woohoo! That wasn't too bad. Well, yeah, uh, the part that's not climbing is on the inside over here and I'm coming back this way then it's a conventional mill on that edge but uh yeah it's uh this ain't easy metal uh this ain't easy iron to uh, machine and uh I've been uh, doing a little bit of a study of on the different types of uh iron uh, that can be uh, machined and uh, machinability this is very poor uh, machinability this uh, this type of iron anyway just wanted to show you guys what I'm doing uh, I'm, uh, I'm milling this thing this way and then later on I'll, I'll cut my my t-blocks to size I'm probably gonna go with this with this length here and uh, I'm gonna probably go with like a 3 8 a 3 8 bolt on this and that'll uh, be one of those uh, t-knots I'll use for my uh, for uh, one of my fixtures that uh that I'm gonna use to mount that sideways so that uh I can get the the horizontal uh milling uh effect uh and I can uh I can use a a key uh a key cutter to do a lot of this kind of stuff, this and uh, cutting uh, uh, grease channels in uh, in round stock. Well, yeah, uh, that's it. Uh, it for now. I'm gonna do more machining, but uh, if I run this, it'll be like making you guys watch paint dry. So, till next time, this chief.
Aloha, Wade.